It's time for your stimulus update for this Thursday. And boy, today is the day finally. It's the moment I think we've all been waiting for for months now. The U.S. Senate finally about today to roll out their stimulus plan. Now, we finally overnight learned that or just a few hours ago that the White House and the Senate GOP looks like they've reached a tentative $1 trillion coronavirus aid bill. Now, what we're also hearing is that this thing will be in multiple stages. This is going to be multiple bills, not just one bill. And, you know, look, this is pretty amazing that they're able to break this, uh, you know, get out of this, because just yesterday we were reporting and hearing that there was a lot of angry Republicans. Uh, Ted Cruz, for instance, who is not happy about this, the spending on this, he doesn't think we can afford any of this, and he let people know about it. Listen to Ted Cruz. I asked my Republican colleagues, what in the hell are we doing? A number of senators at lunch get up and say, well, well, gosh, we need, we need $20 billion for this, we need $100 billion for this, and they're just really eager to spend money. I'm like, what are you guys doing? So he, along with Senator Rand Paul, totally against this spending bill. They don't want an additional trillion dollars. They don't want anything, frankly. <laughs> they, want, they don't want anything. They don't think we can afford it. We're pushing the country further and further into debt, which it's hard to argue with that. But then you hear from the Federal Reserve Chair, Jerome Powell, who says we can handle the debt right now. Our borrowing capacity is unlimited. We have, you know, the money is cheap right now. We can deal with the debt later. The American people need money in their hands right now to stimulate the economy. Otherwise, we're going to go down in flames really soon. Look, we're going to talk in just a few minutes about the eviction moratoriums that are rolling out and are about to dry up and the amount of evictions that we're going to see across this country, which could lead to a massive landlord crisis and massive foreclosure crisis once again in this country. So Americans need a stimulus. They need it in their hands soon. So Mitch McConnell yesterday at the podium had this to say about what we could see in this bill. He says there was a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of people who aren't necessarily on board, but he's doing it anyway. I'm going to introduce a bill in the next few days that is a starting place that enjoys fairly significant support among Republican senators, probably not everyone. There are some differences of opinion uh, on the question of the payroll tax cut and whether that's the best way to go. The time is so important. And the sooner we can see their bill, the sooner we can uh, understand our differences more clearly or our similarities. And then start the, negotiating. The, one thing is very clear. We have been united in our priorities. I think their delay is their disarray. Those are some fighting words. So Nancy Pelosi saying, let us see the bill. We've been waiting for months for you to give us your options. And now all this time has run out. We didn't need to get to this point. This is my opinion. We did not need to get to this point with two days left before unemployment insurance dries up or benefits dry up. Come on. You could have done this months ago, Republicans. Why wait this stinking long? But nevertheless, they did. Dragged on and on and on. And now here we are. So let's go through what so far we know is inside of this bill. Here's what we know that we number one is testing uh, negotiations agree that on a 16 billion dollar piece of this for testing as part of the Republican proposal, they plan to offer nine billion in previously appropriated money and 16 billion in new funding. Now, again, these are going to be multiple bills. So when someone talks about one stimulus bill, that's not going to happen. According to Mitch McConnell, there's going to be multiple uh, provisional bills um, and, uh, and, and all kinds of other uh, government funding bills. So this is going to be uh, maybe they'll get it through easier if they break it apart. I think that's what he's thinking, that if we break this thing apart, then that way it'll be easier for us to pass these different parts. We'll see. So. That 16 billion additional for testing. Senate Republicans all wanted 25 billion, so I don't know why that's lessened. Um, the administration opposes this program, so the White House. I think the reason they were able to go down in this price a little bit is because the White House didn't want testing as part of a stimulus package. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in that White House. I really don't. Um, this is a coronavirus stimulus package. We don't have enough testing going on in the country. We don't have enough money going to frontline workers right now who are battling this in hospitals. People are having to wait three weeks to get a test result. 
And in that amount of time, they could be spreading the virus to somebody else. We don't need testing as part of the stimulus bill. What in the world is going on at the White House? If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Um, the administration just does not want that. So I think that's why they lowered that price tag from 25 down to 16. Um, federal responsibility for testing should be senior facilities. That's what one thing that they are calling for is and mandatory testing at senior facilities. So the White House is on board for that, but not schools and not other places. I, I don't understand. Um, on schools, child care centers, etc. Let's talk about schools. This is a big piece of this new stimulus as well as part of the preliminary agreement. Remember, this is all preliminary, okay, until this is signed. But we will see this proposal today. $70 billion for K through 12 education, with half of that money going to cover costs for schools that have reopened already. So if you reopen, you're going to get more money. It's like an incentive to reopen. Never mind that maybe we could all get sick by having people go to school too early. Uh, in addition, $30 billion would be doled out to colleges and universities, not to be tied to reopening. A Senate aide confirmed that part of it. So $30 billion would be doled out to colleges and universities, would have nothing to do with them reopening. $5 billion would be for governors to allocate how they see fit. Just $5 billion would go to governors to, to be able, in this school section, but it'd be school section. So I don't know where they're going to spend this $5 billion. They could take it and put it somewhere else. I don't know. Would they be allowed to do that under this bill? We don't know yet. McConnell has said on Tuesday that Republicans are preparing to send $105 billion so that schools can safely reopen. This is a big piece of their proposal. $105 billion for schools to reopen. That's $5 billion more than what Democrats want. I think they just shoved that little five billion in there just to say, and even Mitch McConnell brought it up on the Senate floor yesterday that, well, hey, ours is even bigger than what Democrats want. Okay. However, Democrats are now calling for more than $400 billion in school funding. So that initial HEROES Act had that amount in it. And now they want even more because of the disaster that's unfolding right now. So here's what Roy Blunt had to say about this part of it, the school piece. So we're going through this each piece by piece here. Okay, folks, he says, we've agreed on the school front on ways to get people back to school and encourage them to get uh, go back to school as much as possible. We have some money that will be distributed to all districts and other money distributed to districts that get back to school in a more traditional sense. All right, let's talk about stimulus checks, direct stimulus checks to the American people. Now, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin told reporters yesterday that negotiators are also, they did agree to provide Americans with another round of direct payments. The administration has been calling for this. So President Trump does want this. Mnuchin wants this as well. The details have not been settled though. So I know if many of you are tuning in today, hoping for a direct stimulus number, we don't have it yet, unfortunately. And my sense is, Based on the types of bills, it's going to be lumped in with some different different ballots or different bills right now. So it's going to be all it's going to be sort of be separated throughout some different types of bills. Um, so I, maybe there'll be one separate bill just for stimulus checks. We'll have to wait and see. He said when he was asked whether there was a consensus around this exact amount, Mnuchin said, I'm not going to get into the specifics right now. When he was asked about this yesterday, when people caught him coming out of the meeting and stopped him and asked him. Um, he said, I won't go into it. I'm not going to talk about specifics, but we do have an agreement on a number. So if someone's asking in the chat, what is the name of this bill? Well, we don't have a name because like I said, Mitch McConnell said that there's going to be multiple bills. So this new bill is going to have like probably four or five different bills. It's going to be like an octopus with multiple arms. So there won't be one CARES Act, one HEROES Act. It's going to be multiple different uh, money bills. Unemployment insurance. Question on unemployment insurance. Grover, you want to hear about unemployment? So there you go. Have a seat, buddy. Take a load off. Okay. Unemployment insurance. This is the prickly piece right now that we don't know. Here's where I see it shaping up though. According to the reports I've been reading and according to what I've been hearing from those who are in the know, that unemployment insurance right now 
will be slashed significantly. So these unemployment benefits, which are set to run out on Friday, will be slashed dramatically. You're getting $600 per week right now. It's going to about to be slashed to uh, somewhere between $100 per week and $200 per week. Are, those are the most uh, likely reports that we're hearing right now. Between $100 per week and $200 per week, or $400 per month. So $100 instead of $600. The $600 a week federal pay, payment for jobless Americans is set to run out, of course, in just a few days. There's no extension. number of senators have come out and said, we don't want, and Democrats too, we do not want a short-term fix for this thing. We want a long-term plan that would go through the end of the year. So according to the plan, and, you know, and this comes from Mark Meadows, who is, uh, who is the White House Chief of Staff. He says, we're really looking at trying to make sure that we have a comprehensive bill that deals with the issues. Any short-term extensions would defy the history of Congress, he says, which would indicate that it would just be met with another short-term extension. So they don't want this short-term deal. They want a long-term plan. And consensus seems to be growing around the idea of this thing being extended through the end of the year at $100 per week or $200 per week. That's what we know on the unemploy uh, unemployment um, information. Um, also, the idea of a payroll tax cut. Will we see a payroll tax cut? There is no agreement right now on a payroll tax cut, which has been a top priority for the White House. So I think what's happening here, and this is a smart political maneuvering by Mitch McConnell, is by taking instead of having one bill, he's able to break out a few important pieces. Unemployment over here, direct stimulus over here, schools over here, uh, you know, liability protection over here, which is going to be in this bill so that businesses can reopen and not be worrying about getting sued. And then maybe the payroll tax is a separate bill. That way, everyone can vote up or down on just that piece of it. Smart maneuvering. But so far, it looks like they're going to have multiple bills that will cover different pieces. And maybe that's McConnell's way of saying, hey, we don't have any support for a payroll tax. There's no support for a payroll tax in Congress from Democrats or Republicans. So I don't, I'd be surprised if that passes. I mean, look, the president's approval rating right now is really, really low. I, there's not broad-based support for it. People want a direct stimulus check, and frankly, they want a recurring stimulus check. Not just this $1,200 once and done. So again, to reiterate, we do not know a number yet. Treasury Secretary Mnuchin asked yesterday when he was coming out of this meeting, do you have a number for these direct stimulus checks? And he said, we do, but I can't tell you. So he's waiting, he's gonna give this to Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell later today will make this announcement and we will get specifics from Republicans in their bill, in their stimulus plan that is coming today. And when it does, I will bring you all of the details on it. Now, some of the nitty gritty stuff here on this, you know, there was some back and forth here, whether or not we do a payroll tax cut or we do stimulus checks. Um, and you know, there's reporting this morning from, from the Hill and other places that they're facing a choice. Whether or not to do this tax cuts or a stimulus check, and they'd have to pick one or the other. So let me go through some of the senators that spoke on the record about this. John Thune um, from South Dakota said, I think it gets complicated to try and do both for sure, because you've got a limited amount of money and you're trying to get work here. You're trying to, trying to work with here. Um, he said, I think in the end, it's probably going to come down to whether the votes are there and maybe picking and choosing. Chuck Grassley, another person who's not been in favor of the payroll tax cut, says, um, I don't think you can fit them both in. He says it's been a headache. Uh, Roy Blunt from Missouri, member of the GOP leadership, says, I think both the direct payments and the elimination of payroll taxes that Trump wants would be a pretty big part of the package. Either one would have to be. Both of them would be, my guess, challenging to do and, and do much else under a trillion dollars. So basically saying if we do one of them, we're lucky. We can't do both. Um, so right now, I mean, if Republicans have to pick what they want, more Republicans want direct stimulus checks 
to the American people than they want a payroll tax cut. And Mitch McConnell indicated as much on Wednesday during his, uh, during his speech on the floor of the Senate. So, so much love to all of you. We're going to be working on a brand new paranormal video over on our paranormal channel today. We're working hard on that. So we'll have that, uh, have a big UFO story over there. So if you want to come subscribe to that channel, youtube.com slash paranormal post, and we'll have a link in the description. Much love to all of you. I hope you have a great day. We'll be back later today with another stimulus update as soon as we hear anything from the Senate. And this one, you're gonna be, are you going to join me on the show? Okay. You can handle the headlines part of the show. Love you and love all of you. We'll see you soon, everyone.